hey guys welcome back to our channel it's a girl fanny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed i appreciate please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link and i'll be sure to react to whatever you suggest find our vlogging channel funny and jesse 2.0 subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to question and answer did that attack in american christians she i mean did that so without wasting time let's get into the video I appreciate you being here too, and I, we got here late, so I haven't gotten all of it. But uh, I, would, I would like to ask too that you not trick me as rudely as what you have some of the other people, please. You, it takes you 20 minutes to answer a question, please allow me one minute to ask it, okay? And my question is uh, you've attacked my country, uh, my faith, uh, but uh, I'm going to finish. Uh, would I, and, and to me, what you're doing tonight is I happen to be a pilot, and you're taking the wheel of that airplane, bringing it up here on the table and saying, this is Christianity, let's see if it'll ever fly. And you can attack that wheel, you can look at the bearings, you can look at the, sh the struts, the shocks, and tell me that it'll never fly. And you're pulling pieces out of Christianity and telling me that Christianity will never fly. When I know in my heart, and that's the testimony that I have for you tonight, that Jesus Christ is very real. He's a very real person, he's real to me. I wonder what, what Muhammad is to you. The question that I have, I guess, is that you are privileged enough because the United States of America is a Christian country, sir, to have this forum tonight, would I have the same type of a forum in your country that's been Islam? That's the question. Thank you. You see, amen. I'm really grateful for this opportunity, and I do take off my hat to the American nation for giving me this freedom, this latitude to A, my point of view, you allow Father Divine to propagate his faith and people be worshiping him. Sun Myung Moon, Guru Maharaj, Maharaj, Maharishi, and the whole lot. People who worship Satan in your country. Now when I say you have a Satan worshiping cult, now you say now you construe that as an attack on your country. Am I attacking your country? I said, look, this is a fact. Those 300,000 sodomites that gathered in San Francisco, I'm not attacking your religion, I'm not attacking your nation. I said, look, there is a sickness here. Jimmy Swaggart, you allow him to tell you that there are 11 million drunkards in America. If I said that, you say you're attacking my nation. He says there are 44 million heavy drinkers in your nation put together, and he says, I make no distinction between the two. That makes 55 million drunkards, according to Jimmy Swaggart. He's not attacking. He's not. He says incest, he writes a book on incest, has reached epidemic proportions in your country. No, he's not attacking your country. He's not attacking your religion. He says about the preachers, the book on preachers. He says, the preachers, I go to a bank. He says in his book the, on the preacher. He goes to the bank and the manager wants to know from him. He says whether he knows who are the worst payers. So Jimmy Swaggart, in humility, he says, no, I don't. He says, there are P three Ps. Three Ps, you know, P, letter P, three Ps. So what are they? He says, preacher, painter, and prostitute. These three Ps, the worst payers. And Jimmy Swaggart says, he said, look, I don't know about the painters and the prostitutes, but I know about preachers. The man is speaking the truth. Am I attacking your nation, your religion, your country? What am I doing? When the same incest, academic, Sodom and Gomorrah, homosexuality, he says what it has done, he's saying in his book on homosexuality, you know, this filthy, dirty thing you call gays, sodomites, you call them gays. He says, America, he says, it's time that God would judge you. If he doesn't judge you, he says, he might have to apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. What is it? Attacking your religion? Is he your enemy? Jimmy Swaggart is your enemy? Now, if he is, I am also your enemy. I am telling you the very same thing. I said, look, these are sicknesses you have in your nation, and I am prepared to help you. I want to help you. If, if such a person as I can help you. He is giving beautiful answers, beautiful books he has written on homosexuality, its cause, and its cure. Beautiful work. And he quotes two and a half pages from the book of Romans, two and a half, first page, whole page quotation. Continuation, second page quotation. Third one, half quotation. 
And in that, the answer is given. The answer to your problem is given. Why you have these lesbians and why you have these gays. It's given in that quotation. But you read the whole book. I'm not uh, taking swag out now. I love him by God. I tell you, I love him and his wife. They're fantastic people. I met them personally. They invited me for lunch. Unfortunately, I couldn't take advantage of it. Great man. His wife, great woman. Born again Christian. He writes the whole book. But the cause that God gives you, if it is the word of God, he doesn't reproduce it at all. The cause, he says, it's cause and it's cure. I give you the cause, what he missed out. You read the book and you'll see he missed out. I don't know how, an Englishman, English-speaking person, American, how he missed out. Cause, it's cause. It says, that quotation of his, it says, professing themselves to be wise. That's what man does. Everybody who is taking you astray, he thinks he's very clever. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. And changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image like that into corruptible man. And who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped the creature and, and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who be glorified forever and ever. For this cause, I made your women to go after women and your men to go after men. For this cause, you change the glory of the Almighty God, the eternal immortal God, into that of an image of a man. Image of a man is telling you of a man, perishable man. Whether it is a Moses or a Jesus or a Muhammad, whether it is a Rama or a Krishna or a Buddha, image of a man. But when Paul was writing that, he wasn't thinking about Jesus. He was thinking about the Romans and the Greeks. They had their man gods beyond counting. You remember Jupiter, the god of heaven, Pluto, the god of hell, Vulcan, the god of fire, Neptune, the god of the sea, Mars, the god of war. And far, Zeus was the father of all these gods with his many wives and many children. He was sitting on some planet, and from there he was sending his sons into the world, his Apollo, his Horus, his Isis, his Osiris. Among such a people goes an idea of a new son of God, Jesus. So what was metaphorical to the Jew became little to the Greek, and they started worshipping Christ. Image of a perishable man. Wasn't he like a man? Circumcised on the eighth day, eating food, hungering, thirsting, weary, sleepy. That's what the Bible describes him. Man, man, man. You worship him as God. You do that? He said, for this cause. That is the cause. You mean to say he didn't understand that English? For this cause I make you to do this. As a punishment for worshiping man, you bring down the Almighty to this level, you go down to that gutter level. I met my brother, I forgive me. This is my way of talking. You see, this is my nature. Uh, I'm not the one who's been through the university corridors, you know, to go and find out all these fine ease of talking. I haven't. I'm a layman, a furniture salesman, <laughs> starting to talk religion. So if I sound hard and strong, this is something that I can't help. But I, by, by God, I don't want to attack the American nation, nor his religion. And I think you asked a question at the end about salvation, I think. Oh, yes. yes, you can do the same thing in my country. My country gives you total freedom. In my country, I enjoy a second to none in the world. Here, this book here, Crucifixion of Crucifixion. It went through the fire of hell twice, and it came out unscathed. The censorship board. I don't want to belabor you all, but my country, I have a freedom of religion, which is second to none in the world. Yeah. This is what I'm doing. Uh, thank you much, Brother Didat, and thank ladies and gentlemen for the wonderful reception. Uh, Brother Didat has come from a very long distance to talk to you, and we appreciate the wonderful reception you have given him. Thank you very much. Um, every time I react to Ami Didat, I feel like he was worth a man to meet. He was worth a man to meet, you know. He just responds in such a way that... Um, he makes you understand something. He's even going deeper, diving deep into the uh, into the whatever you've asked, just to give you an answer. Um, I think he answered according to what the guy asked. The answer is there, and his explaining of things makes sense. Sometimes we pick on people because of where they're coming from. Today, if I should speak on a certain group. I may be attacked. Wow, when that other group speaks on my people, 
they won't be attacked at all it's like we're saying yes this person can say this but this person can't say this which is um like i said quite unfair not right you know we should be able to discuss and make each other understand and i love how he says that by god he's saying this not to attack the country but this and that he's talking about certain groups in the country that are doing this that are doing that that are doing whatever it is that they're doing and he's condemning those actions because they're not allowed in christianity they're not allowed in his religion and that's that and i'm sure i, I just his answer was well put together and he explains why he speaks the way he speaks which is also understandable let me know what you guys actually think about the way he conducted himself when answering this the question posed um let me know what you feel in the comment section below if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below just give me the name or the link and i'll be sure to check it out make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video